Hi guys, Ancient Warrior. Welcome back to Prepping in Free America. If you like what you hear here, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be the first kid on your block to know what craziness I'm talking about next, hit the bell icon with all. And folks, please, please, I don't know if I'm hitting the mark because very few of my videos get comments. So I need to know what you're thinking. You'll also, you know, ask, ask Laura Serendipity. Uh, she gave me an idea for videos and we're going to go back to them next week. Uh, but this week there's some stuff that had to be dealt with. Alright, with that being said, Russia, 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 Russia. It's all over the news. The hackers are in Russia. Which I personally will look at you and say, oh, I don't think the Russians are any more. The Russian government, maybe, but the Russian people are no different than we are. The reason I know this is there's three channels I pay attention to. And I'm not going to give them to you as my, my favorite to least favorite because that wouldn't be fair. But we're going to give them to you in order. Letters to King Constantine. Uh, I pay attention to him. He lives in the Moscow, Moscow area. And... Uh, he seems like a decent old boy. He's lived here in the U.S. He knows a lot about us. See, that's where the American people fail, is we don't know enough about the Russian, the Russians or their psyche. You see, they think long term. We're very, in most cases, we're pretty damn short-sighted on what we think about. Survival Russia. I enjoy watching him. He does things that I actually think you need to be aware of how to do. And Survival Russia is is a highly intelligent man. You can tell this. He may have been Spetsnaz or something like that. But he's, you know, as far as I know, he's never said anything to that degree. But I suspect he's a lot better trained than your common, common man. Then. Uh, life in the wild. I just found this guy the other day. And he was building a underground cabin. I loved it. I loved it. Because I think that Americans should be looking at stuff like that. I got news for you folks. Our ancestors lived in stuff like that. You know, and I may one day take a trip down here to Powder Canyon when it's cooler and show you pictures of a dugout, a, you know, a sod hut that was built down there many, 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 many years ago, way before I was born. Now, why do I pay attention to these three guys? Well, number one, I pay attention to them because they're like me. They're all younger, but they're like me. If YouTube would have been around when I was in my 20s, 30s, I'd have been on YouTube. I'd have been producing. 
and I'd have been producing stuff like Survival Russia and uh, Life in the Wild produced. In my 40s, I would have been producing stuff like uh, Letters to King that Constantine does. You know, one of the reasons YouTube exists, it's a teaching platform, folks. Uh, the dog just saw the cat. So we're going to have fun. Uh, but it's a teaching platform, folks. And with that being said, be willing to learn from other people. You're going to hear me talk about people like Erin and Claire from Seoul, South Korea. Marion, and I don't know if she's from New Zealand or she's from Australia. You're going to hear me talk about various people from around the world. Hell, one of my favorite cooking shows was Cooking with Mikey. Mike Chen. Now I know for a fact he's not living abroad anymore. He's living here in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So, With that being said, remember, if you're prepping, you're a free American. And it's better to have this stuff and not need it than need it and not have it. I'm the Ancient Warrior, and we're out.